The prolonged dry season coupled with the ongoing construction of infrastructure projects in Gulu town has crippled the town with dust. This dust, seen rising from the ground in the heart of the town, has not only affected businesses on the roadside but also the people who operate in the city center. Pais Okaya operates a shop along the streets. He says he is headed to making losses since all his merchandise is covered with dust. It's just too much. As, you, as If you could really focus behind you, it's just too much. So my only worry is we are actually exposed to a health risk uh, because there is no way you can control this dust and other things that we don't have the masks. Uh, you can't keep on putting on the mask like me. I operate the business along the road here, and it's actually affecting so much. Okaya fears that he is exposed to health risks, while the everyday life of these border border riders has become unbearable, while a running nose is a common nuisance. This road is quite challenging at the moment because uh, their water booster, you see them in a day, maybe only watering once or twice a day, which is uh, at the moment, you know, it's so dry and the dust is so much for us. There are several solutions to minimize the dust, but the sprinkling of water on the road twice a day is surely not advantageous. Gulu municipality is fast-tracking for a city status. The constructions in the town are garnering pests to fit in the June deadline. Some of the local leaders are, however, not happy. Peter Langwen, who represents the people of Library Parish as a councillor at Gulu Municipal Council, says alternative routes were not provided for the people, and this has led to rampant road accidents. Even currently, the road which are uh, within the central business district, they have even started uh, giving us uh, expenses in terms of medication, su su surgery. People are getting an accident in the road, on our roads here. Because the roads are not friendly, they are small roads. And yet the population in the town, the population of the cars itself is expanding. As of the health of the residents and the other road users, the ear, nose and throat specialist at Gulu Regional Far Hospital, Dr. Louise Okema, warns that the dust has negative effects on the human body, especially those with allergies, leading to stuffy nose, red eyes, headaches, chest pain and sometimes coughing blood. It does have an effect on the human body, but it will disturb mostly those who have what we call allergies those whose airways are extremely sensitive. And in these people, you're going to find when they're exposed to these forms of dust, they're going to end up with problems in the nose, stuff, things like blockages in nose, stuffiness, a running nose, and that comes along with headaches, mucus that flows down their throats, and it makes them very uncomfortable. You also have those category of people who have very sensitive airways in the lower side. So that means whenever they take in this dust, especially the dust that has a bit of lime in it, um, like the ones that they usually pour on the road with aggregate. You find these people come in with cough, tightness in the chest, sometimes pain in the chest, and some people go as far as coughing blood.